into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight it'll be the Dallas Wings going up against the Phoenix Mercury. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. And we're headed into the thick of the season here. For Rookie, what do you think is important right now? Well, off the floor, hopefully the rookies have settled into their new cities. And hopefully they've gotten used to the being a professional, because it really is a whole nother level. When on the floor, remember the college draftees, they've been playing games since November. You have to take extra care of your body. None of them have ever played a year like this. The good news, though, they're mostly 20, 21, 22 years old, so they can handle it. It's Burton. Clock at six. McCowan. Agunbawale from long range. Drains the three-pointer. Fantastic dish from McCowan. Easy hoop for the team. Love it when a center can move the ball. Up top, Diggins Smith. That one drops for her. They'll take as many of those looks as they can get, trust me. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now Burton. There's Agumbo Wale with the three. Here's Savali. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. Well, with her 6 4 length, Savali can gobble up boards. Also has the energy to get that rebound and go up with it. Here's Gustafsson. Here's Turner. Pass to Diggins Smith. Score it! Third, third straight basket in three attempts. Brings so much intensity to the court. Diggins Smith energizes her entire team with plays like that. Up top, Agunbawale. Over Ogumake. Agunbawale, shot is good. Assisted by Veronica Burton. And during the 2020 Bradenton bubble, Arike Ogunbowale won the scoring title. So impressive doing it in just her second year at just 23 years old. Arike uh, holding off Asia Wilson down the stretch of that season, averaging just about 30 in the last four games to secure the scoring title. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Pass to Turner. Ogumake up top. And again, it's Phoenix. That keeps the defense on. And here in the first, three minutes in. From downtown, it drops for her third basket. She's only missed one shot. The Mercury Trail. Substitution on the court. First quarter of action and just under three and a half minutes played. miss it's Burton back to Sims now to 
Howard. Pass to First quarter in the books, second about to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from the wings, what do you guys think? The ball movement from them in the first half, absolutely terrific. Very timely passing from them, and that's fun to watch. difficult to defend. The screen by Segrist. There's a Gumbo Wale with the three. Mercury with a rebound. And here is Diggin Smith. He's got six. To the inside. Collier. And it's good. The game is all even. Excellent vision from Diggin Smith. She's a player that truly makes those around her better. Outside the shield. Pass to Kukawale. Brown with it. gives us another lead change. And there have been too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other shot for shot, play for play. Man, I hope this game keeps on going forever. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. That's her first foul. First team foul. Teams first. First team foul. Huh. Smith outside. Sinks 
the triple. Well, Digging Smith gets uh, set up. Confidence she has in her shot. Now here's a Gumbawale. She's got eight. Burton. Extend her range a bit. Forces her defender out, adds some spacing to the floor. Video game numbers. It was like she was playing 2K as a senior, led the nation at just about 30 points per game. And Maddie's average over her four years, Six over six. 24 points per game. Her ability to score a huge reason the Wings took her third overall in 2023. Now here's Diggins Smith. Nine points in the game. Fast to Turner. Back to Carl. And a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. Time out. Fantastic time touch out. around the rim. Call your automatic down low. And the wings call time here. Dallas in the lead. Now Burton. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Howard up top. Off target with the three. Now here's Hartley. Guarded closely. And in this second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Agumake. Six to shoot. Over Howard. Rebound Dallas. It's Burton. Inside. Great beat that time from Neko Agumake. Now here's Henderson. She's covered by Sims. Pass to Hartley. Turner with the ball. Ogumake. Now here's Henderson. Shot on the wing. Jumper, count it. Check out Sabali on the catch and shoot right there. No hesitation at all. Completely focused on the basket, and that's how you have to be. Now here's Hartley. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Turner. Now Henderson. Now here's Turner. 
in off the glass. Well, Destiny Henderson is so skilled at seeing the whole floor. And here's Sabali. Shoots from 12. A bucket. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. It's been quite the game for Diggin Smith. What I noticed more than anything about her first half offense was she didn't waste her opportunity. She made just about every good look she had. And they were pretty much all good looks. I mean, her shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Skylar Diggins Smith drawing the double team. Over to the left wing. Down for her so far. Scoring the ball effectively so far. Diggins Smith has a rare combination of skill quickness and playmaking ability. It's Burton. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Pass to Diggins Smith. Skyler Diggins Smith drawing the double team. Hartley takes the three and again that Phoenix with the triple. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now he's got, he's got six. Pass to Rumbawale. And here's Burton. Down low. McCowan with the bucket. Nice play by the ball handler and McCowan finding an opening using the pick and roll. Timeout called the Mercury. Well, no doubt Tierra McCowan is the best offensive rebounder in the league. Well, leading the W in offensive rebounding percentage in each of her first four years. Obviously, I mean, being 6'7 helps McCowan, but beyond that, he's so smart.
90 seconds into the second half now. Here's Diggin Smith. It's rebounded by Agumba Wale. The wings trail. And up the court come the wings on the break. Dallas calls timeout. And when you think of Arike Agunbawale, her scoring is the thing that comes to mind immediately. This is her role, and she does it well. She's a volume shooter who can score from all three levels. And I appreciate how fearless she is. It's Burton. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. accuracy mark. Dallas with the ball. Two-point game. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Sinks the three-pointer. Love the competitive mindset from Agumba Wale. Anything you can do, I can do better. Diggins Smith. Down low. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone now. Pass to Gumbawale. The three. And again, it's Dallas with the three. She's been one of their more reliable options today. And it's her shooting that has given them this lead. And here's a Gumake. Guarded by Savali. Assist from Neko Gumake. 
What a competitor. Digging Smith with a three of her own. Just tremendous. sees the floor well, sets others up. It's Burton, guarded by Diggins Smith. Here's a Dumbawale, and again, it's Dallas Conner. An unbelievable scoring effort from her. It's all because of her, yes, her, that they're still in this game. Pass to Okumake. Here's Turner, the left wing. Skyler Diggins Smith outside. It's number nine to fall, and she's only taking ten shots. She is showing killer instinct this quarter. Looking to extend this lead. Now here's a good play. Defense is right there. and a battle brings it to a tie. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. Here's Burton. Pass to Sims. Here's Brown. She's covered by Cunningham. Pulls it. And the basket. Well, a recent trend in the WNBA, players like Charlie Collier for going their senior season to declaring early for the draft. Outside, Agumawale to the inside. Segris. Sixty ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Launches a three. Brown grabs the board. Dallas leading. Get there, get there. Outside of Goombawala. It's Burton, covered by Henderson. Sims with it. Just four to shoot. A Goombawale, guarded by Diggins Smith. And the ball out of play. We've gone about one and a half minutes into this fourth quarter. Outside Cunningham. Pass to Collier. Hartley. Now here's Diggins Smith. The Mercury with another miss. Outside of Gunawale. Now Burton, guarded by Diggins Smith. Now Burton, 
Clock at six. Sims up top. Segris right side. Here's Brown. And Diggin Smith pulls it down. Phoenix trailing here. To the paint. Here's Collier. Her teammates love playing with her. And the wings call time here. Nice game. Great performance by Skylar Diggins Smith. Good timeout. She's absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to, to close out on her much quicker, and they need to figure out a way to stop her from three point. Range. making a change here. Coaches have so much trust in Agumake. It's Burton. Outside Howard. back in 2014 hardly has really improved her shooting from long range making her that much tougher to guard outside Agumawale outside Howard pass to Burton Cowan defended by Turner inside stolen Stuffson. Turner with the ball. Five on the clock. Let's go. They get it back. Yep, that one goes. She's got a great read of where that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the foot back. Now here's a Goopa Wale. It's Burton. Back to Gugawale. Right wing. Can they get it? And right through it goes. Born for the big moment. Remember, in her first ever WNBA game, McCowan hit a buzzer beater to win it for the Fever. Now here's Diggin Smith. And it's good for two. An example right there, guys, of how they uh, never started coasting, even as their lead kept growing. Well, Tim, they're just a determined group. There's no neutral gear, no matter what the lead is. It's only full speed ahead, and that's the type of basketball I love to watch. Yeah, 100 miles an hour.
Now that's how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Dallas with the ball. They trail by nine points. Outside, Agumawale. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. They've got to be happy with the, the effort, the result, the outcome. Great night. W is a W. Now here is Agumake. It's good from about 19 feet. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They've got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Here's Burton. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. It makes a big difference once they started to really play in a good flow. It felt like uh, they never had any doubts that they come out on top. And that's a wrap, everyone.